All right, it may interest you to note that um, there is a small problem with what I showed you in the last video. And um, that's just the way that I uh, keep you coming back for more videos, is that I show you how to do something really cool. And then in the next video, I show you how to fix all the problems that result from you doing that really cool thing. So I'll just show you the problem. If we uh, possess this new pawn and swap back too quickly, you can see that, um, well, firstly, that's the wrong character, because Bob was standing here and Bill was the one coming up the ramp. So I'm Bob at the moment. And so it's saying the wrong thing. Plus, the uh, text isn't going away. And that can be very distracting if it's there for the rest of the game. So, how do we fix that? Well, I'm going to go into Kismet here. And I'm just going to select these guys at the end and just move them. Now, uh, the problem occurs because um, currently, if we swap backwards and forwards any faster than this sort of three second delay, uh, our first swap opens up this scene and then we swap quickly to this scene which opens up while well, this scene's still open and then if we swap back we open up another version of this scene and then another version of this scene and then another version of this scene and pretty soon the computer just gets completely confused and says no nah, not not doing it anymore you can you can live with whatever's on the screen and so what we need is a way to um if this scene is open we want to close it before we open this scene and vice versa if this scene is currently open we want to close it before we open this one well we've got two close scene nodes right here so I'm just gonna select these guys and I'm gonna control C control V to copy and paste those and I need to bring them over here now um, knowing that to open before we open this scene we need to open we need to close this scene that's the close scene that we need before this one so I'm just going to bring this guy down here I'm going to swap this guy up to there and so now um, that should be how it's supposed to be if we plug this into that and then into that we should be fine but we've got all these wires sort of sticking out at the moment and I really don't like that so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to disconnect from those I'm going to use a couple of named variables so this one uh, I'm going to change its variable name or var name to you are Bob UI I'm going to change this one's name to you are Bill UI. And so now I can add a named variable. And I'll do this one first. And the find var name, you are Bob UI. Okay, so I won't do that one first, I'll do that one first. And then Control C, Control V. And this one will be you are Bill UI. And those have connected up correctly. And so now I can disconnect that, disconnect that. And I can't get rid of my delay yet I need a, a connection to to be able to set the activate delay so I'm now going to set the activate delay to zero to get rid of that do the same thing here and set activate delay of zero there we go now I'll just connect these up to here here and here now, that should fix the problem, right? Yeah? Because um, after we've swapped, 
before we open up the UR Bob UI, we close UR Bill if it's open, and vice versa. If we swapping to Bill, we close UR Bob. Everything should be fixed, shouldn't it? Right? Well, let's see. Okay, it's sort of fixed in that we don't have the text coming up for the wrong character or staying on our screen. That's because it doesn't come up at all. Now, I'm not embarrassed to say this um, caused me a lot of grief. I was trying to figure out why it didn't work. I wonder if you can see how it is, uh, see what is the problem. Well, the problem is that when we first uh, trigger this event, uh, so we are doing the first swap of the game, we come in here and we go straight to this node, close scene, and the scene that it's trying to close is this one down here. Now, that scene isn't actually in the game yet, and so this node can't succeed, it has to fail, and so it fires off this failed output. Failed output doesn't go anywhere, and so it never fires off this open scene of you are Bob. And so then when you swap to this guy, you come down and you try to close the you are Bob scene, but you are Bob isn't open, and so there's no way that this node can succeed. It has to fire off the failed output and so it never fires off URBill. We've effectively removed URBob and URBill from the game. The way to um, fix this is that we have to drag another output from the failed. So now, when it first tries to, um, when you first swap to Bob, uh, it will try to close URBill. It says, no, URBill is not active, so I can't close it and therefore um, I've failed, uh, and then it will fire off the UR Bob uh, UI scene. Now this should fix it, just uh, this connection here, but just to be on the safe side, I'm just going to connect this one up as well. And so, now, let's test that out and see if that worked. see that I am the right character, the text does go away, and what's more, uh, w if we swap rapidly, we get an instantaneous change of the uh, name that's on the screen. And so we know exactly who we are. Yep, still Bob, still Bill. And so there we go. We fixed it. And I can't tell you how long that took for me to work out what the problem was. Well, I can tell you, it was about three hours actually. Um, so yeah, uh, if you do face a problem like that, just uh, keep on looking at it, just keep on sort of working out what could possibly have gone wrong. And most importantly, and this is probably what I should have done, is uh, walk through each node and see which output you're going to, uh, which output is going to be firing off to cre to fire off the next node. And uh, if I'd done that, I'd have saved myself a lot of time. But there you go. You get to just watch it in a video, and uh, uh, you don't have to lose any sleep over it. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to add um, a little bit more of a hint to the player as to which character it is that they are firing at, and uh, also a way of differentiating Bill and Bob from other bots that we bring into the game. So uh, stay tuned for that one.